Hello my friend, I'm Alex and welcome to the Freight Broker Trend family. Many of you often ask how to become a freight broker and get to know more about the profession. We have working on this. Are you excited? Let's go! The first must-have is training. I have a all course for freight brokers where people can go through a full training program. It doesn't matter whose lesson you use, mine or someone else's. Just take the training from an experienced broker. How do you even train for this? You can be employed where you will acquire the knowledge. You will work day to day and learn from your mistakes, staying on the trying job for a few years. You can also go training in a group of 10 or more people. The kind of course where you have to come and listen to the instructor's nerd speeches. The best option, which I use myself in teaching other people, is to use an online platform. You can access it anytime and anywhere you want. It's not that pure heaven. You have to learn the basic anyway. There are no avoiding it. But the latter method is the most convenient. The second must-have is authority. After going through the training program, you need to get a freight broker's authority. It's easy. Apply first for the MCSA and after that get BOC3, one more thing, UCR, the Unified Carrier Registration. You have to figure out for yourself whether you need to register it. There are a number of requirements that you have to meet to be a freight broker and get a license to do so. You don't need a college degree for your work, nothing like that. It's ridiculously easy to go through all the fast time procedure. The third must have is finding a niche. It's hard to please everyone. That's why I want to recommend you to take some small niche in the market and invest it in it consciously, developing it and slowing growing to success. But how to find a niche at all? You can find it based on the equipment filed of use country preferences whatever you like. But remember, indefinitely the niche is the key which may unlock you the way to become a successful freight broker. You don't have to stay in that niche forever, but you have to find foundation for the first try. After time, you can always find new niche or expand into others. That's easier than it may sound. I myself started with a very small niche and began to expand with my team step by step. Our earnings surfaced six zeros and then we started taking over other niches, multiplying our income. I have sold a lot of good and made lots of deals above 200 millions as a freight broker. Find an appropriate niche. Remember, the first must-have is your home office. In today's age, where you only need a laptop or phone to run your business, you can even work from your desk in the kitchen or on your windowsill. Of course, it's better to have workable and high-speed internet for convenience. Let's now look at advantage and disadvantages, if they exist at all, of this kind of work. Advantages are, you don't waste time on commuting to work. You do not need to spend money to rent an office. You will feel more confidence, flexible terms and condition. You can adjust your work, life balance yourself, so you can have time for rest and take time for yourself, less waste. There are just some of the advantages. So, for a freight broker or agent, working from home is the best of all options. Don't you agree? No doubt, 
that working from home is the one of the biggest advantages of working as a freight broker or freight agent because most people think like a freight broker can't work from home but it's not true at all fifth must have is technology you couldn't imagine that using basic freight broker technology could be so important could you so you will have to use multiple load boards such as truck stop and DAT and maybe even getloaded.com there are the load boards I would recommend you to check out check what works for you use at least one service to start with one that will meet your needs so load boards a platform where all carriages brokers and drivers can get together on one platform and communicate with each other without restriction they place their loads and negotiate their transports that's how the deal are done and then the margin is calculated the broker profit from the deal the sender of the cargo receives the profit from the goods as they are transported from one point to another and the transporter receives payment for his work as he drives desired destination you should also look at transportation management because your transportation management software is the hub and backbone of your freight broker company like TMS transport management system you can manage customer orders carrier data transport roads invoices and payments you can do almost everything you need it's very convenient it's like a perfect system for freight broker everything is quick and efficient manage everything wisely so that everything is on the same platform and you can track your shipment and payments so transportation management with software becomes three times easier there are many more software programs for brokers you just have to choose the six must have is partnership people starting out as freight broker will soon need a freight broker factoring company factoring is financing that will allow you to pay money to the carrier this is your major expenses I wouldn't talk about the details but the importance of a partner is incredible you will probably want to pay the carriers quickly and confidently factoring companies allow you to partner with them in the short term and scale your business you can download more details notes on this at the end i'll give you a link that talks about factoring and how it works factoring companies prevent negative cash flow when payments need to be made within 30 days rather than 60 days for example this gap will be filed for a small fee and you can open a kind of credit line with the bank cheaper more efficient better that it's all about but factory is a great way to start become a freight broker the seventh must have is selling and promoting services once you have identified your niche and have your checklist in place it's time to start sending your services to shippers a lot of people do call selling through call or emails some person and some get connection after conversation by attending all sorts of scale and marketing events there are an awful lot of ways you can promote yourself but you only need to choose a couple of them you can grab them all dig deep into your niche and get to know your target market who it is what is needed and why try to develop a selling position and introduce yourself you can start without it now i want to list the many resources available that you can use to become a freight broker this way I'll leave them at freightbrokertraining.us you need them that much go in and find out it only takes a couple of steps at this URL you can download a free report and access a lot of links articles and notes on the subject as a training session can help you to fill in the blank of your knowledge 
For example, you can watch a lesson on how to organize your workspace at home. What other sales strategies are available? What you need to know about marketing? And where to get FMCSA references? All of which will undoubtedly help you to become a real freight broker or freight agent. We have trained around 10,000 students and you can become one of them. We will give you your money back within 100 days if you don't like our course and you find faults in it. Just a reminder, you can read the lesson in more details at freightbrokertraining.us. Our team has been working for many years to make such kind of real freight brokers. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you remember the sevens must have steps to becoming a freight broker. That is your way to success. Good luck! Don't forget to watch our previous video and enjoy the content.